What up, people of the world? Special Caesar here coming at you with more sweet video game insanity. Welcome to the Tales of Bayon. This is a story rich, choices matter, fantasy Slavic RPG that is coming out in the not so distant future. <clears throat> There is a demo of it available on Steam for free, and that's what this is, so I really don't know what to expect here, guys. It's just something cool and uh, hopefully dark. Yeah, we're just going to dive straight in and see what we can do. Brides of Polos. I'm not going to read everything because it's a text-based game, so I'm just going to read the intro and then let you guys read. That way, on top of that, you can establish in your own imagination what each character sounds like. The Knyaz of Velikograd entrusts Zan with another dirty job to shake the gold out of the rebellious city of craftsmen to prepare the army for an invasion from the east. But the Horde's ally is far more cunning than just a human. New game. Okay, interesting. The music already I love is absolutely amazing. Red Mila. Press Alt. Okay, Alt shows everything I can interact with, maybe. <clears throat> Salt bush, that sounds awful. <gasps> An apple! Give it to me, wench, now! I'm going to chew your hair off instead. That hair looks edible. Oh, okay. So I can either take it for myself or give it to Radmila. Give it to me! I want it. It's all mine. <laughs> Got any more? Yeah, that was delicious. Thanks, I'll keep it. We're not going to kill a snake, we're going to cut our own hand. <clears throat> Plus you have to catch a snake and it might be venomous. You could have gotten bit or something and I don't want that. It's a passage! Oh god, what the fuck? Old claw hand there. Wow, hello. Huh. Red Miller's like four. The Malachite Maid. We are just number we are nothing but humble and peasant humble peasants. Please have pity on us. We have nothing to offer you. Yes. Maybe I could have given you the apple. Would you like an apple? You don't look like you need an apple, to be honest, but I can give you an apple if you want one.
Oh, do we do we refuse? Do we act like an obnoxious little trout and just like have a tantrum? No, we'll we'll do what she says because I've got no idea what's going on right now. The English translation is pretty good. I think it was originally a Slavic game, so it may have been written in Romanian or Russian or something, I can't remember what, but the English translation is great. Clawman's here again. Racer snake. Oh, bring it. There's gods are fighting. What happened to Rad Miller? Wait, what happened to Rad Miller? What just happened? Is that now? He's an adult now. So he's having a nightmare. Oh god, there's a cat! What the fuck? There's some kind of weird Cheshire cat. Diane the cat. Looks like someone had a good time yesterday. What are you chatting about, cat? This Nyaz is looking for you. So I can either wash up or have another drink. I think I'm going to wash up. I'm going to play responsibly. <coughs> Excuse me. What, 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 what? Giant Dad is in the hizzle! <laughs> What's up, mate? Yeah, I'm good, thank you, I'm good. How are you? Thank you for joining the stream. Is it your house? Oh, I missed if it was your own house. He said something about you have a drink and enter a house and there's a stranger in it. Well, if it's, his, if it's his house, I'm not gonna punch him in the face. I don't just walk into people's houses like a drunken idiot and start a fight with them. So I think I'm gonna introduce myself. Pretty good, glad to hear that giant dad, that's awesome. What's this game? It looks weird. It's some kind of Slavic RPG story game. Uh, that's coming out on Steam in quarter four, I think. Uh, I thought I'd give it a go because there's a free demo of it available on Steam and it looked pretty interesting. It's a choices matter based, text based game. Uh, I'm going to introduce myself. You gain one cunning. Okay. Don't you think I know Matt's hat off? My name is so and so. You never know who that might be. Money! Give it to me!
Yeah, I'll take it all. Give it to me all. All of it. I want all of it. Every single bit and more. Give me your belt as well. And that gold bracelet. Give me the gold bracelet now. Ah, there you go. The house isn't yours. It's a merchant. So if I said hit in the face, that basically means we just walked into a merchant's house, didn't introduce ourselves while we were drunk, and just punched him in the face. That sounds quite Viking-ish, but I don't know. We went with a more sophisticated approach. We're very civilized for our for the era. We want to try and invoke gentlemanliness. God, I despise Telltale games. Yeah, the Telltale games were awful, in my opinion. The story drive, the storytelling was okay in The Walking Dead, but the decisions you made didn't actually impact the game or who lived or who died or where the story went or anything. It was a total fad. It was an absolute joke. The story, the um, decision making, quote unquote, in the Telltale games. I completely agree, Giant Dad. Yeah. Uh, we're going to... What do you mean, apologise? We have got nothing to apologise for. We've only introduced ourselves. And I'm not going to spit either, because then I will have something to apologise for. I can't believe these are the only two fucking options. I'm going to apologise, because it sounds cunning. Aha, it is cunning. I really like the music. They've done a good job on it. Like the backgrounds and the the moving particles and the the music. It just feels nice. Everything about it feels comfy. Have you seen a cat talking as well? You forgot to mention that it talks to you. We have to go to the dungeon. Can I... Is the door the only thing I can interact with? What about this chest? There's blatantly treasure in the chest. Let me at it. Fine, we'll go to your stupid door. Go to the axe chamber. Go to the dungeon. We're going to go to the chamber first. Since the dungeon is where we were told specifically to go. Let's go there first and then we'll go to the dungeon. So he's got money as well. Can I do can I have some money? I'd like money, please. You look wealthy and I need money. Bull Slav's reception is always a pig in a poke. What does that mean? What the hell are you talking about, man? No wonder you've been drinking. Say something wrong, he'll eat you alive. Oh, okay, so I need to actually interact. Oh, cool. So there's a stack of... stack of papers. And a throne. And then Knyaz. Who dares disturb me? I'll crush you like a piece of... Ah, Zidane! Come in, my dear! We're gonna flatter him. Fuck it, why not? Get into cunning. I wonder what dare means. Uh, I tried flashing before I'm going to go with dare. Dashing. So we're getting two dashing and three cunning. I wonder what you use them for. Uh, 
Uh, can I? I want to leave. I want to go back. I guess you got a choice. Uh, you can't go back and visit the the dungeon like I wanted to. Well, say what you see. Where is Yarograd? Is this Yarograd? Uh, what? What is going on? What the fuck is going on? I have to tell him where it is. How am I supposed to know? Look at you, what a smart colour. And the Horde? Also in the southeast, sire. Uh, but this is stretching to the north, what is it? What the f- what's going on? So this is obviously whether we're going to be uh, mainly dashing or whatever it was, or mainly cunning. I reckon we're going to go with cunning. Yeah. Forgive. Crush the rebellion! Oh, you got one dashing. Okay, can you either take credentials or a bag of gold? I'm going to take the gold. Gold for expenses that you don't need to be reported. Time to feast. Cool. Uh, and I'm going to take that as well. Damn it! Oh, there we go. Yeah, credentials from the. Just says credentials from the. Granted by Gnaz Bolselaslav Velikograd. He wants a full cast of gold, so he's investing in me. I see. I think they are your stats for skill checks. Potentially, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Go to his chambers or we go to the dungeon first? Let's go to the chambers. We can always go to the dungeon afterwards. There might be something new in the chambers. No, let's go talk to the prisoner. Aha, stove! Okay, let's go to the uh, the dungeon first. Then we'll come back to his room and leave with uh, the guy. Oh man, you all look pretty happy about this. 
I mean, we can't talk to the prisoner, we can't interact with him at all, so... So it seems like the second decision is always cunning and the first decision is always uh, whatever this is, dashing, I think. Uh, which I'm not sure they should do. I think they should mix it up so that you, you're you more, you can't partic get a particular outcome. You just pick based on what you would do in the actual situation. That makes it a bit more realistic in my mind, but that's up to the developers. Get to the point, for goodness sake. Stop rattling your chains. I'm trying to have a conversation. You dirty bugger. Punch in the guts or pretend you understand. Uh, I'm not going to punch him in the guts. It looks like he can barely stand and talk as it is. Let's pretend to yeah, I understand. Ah, oh, more cunning, yes. Promise to dad, yes. Open passage for army. Hmm. See, he passed out. If I punched him in the gut, he would have passed out anyway, so... Back to the chambers. Aha, now you can get in the trunk. Oh, Witten, definitely. Yeah, we're really building up the cunning, boys. Uh, Boarhead. Reply sharply. Let's get some of the other stuff up. Yeah, it's dashing. Don't tell me what to do. Ooh, take the Malachite bracelet. The cat's back. Look, you're seeing this, right? It's not me. There's a big fat purple cat there. He's going to start talking as well. You can see it, right? It's on the chest. It's right there in front of you. I guess he's just going to ignore it as well. He's going to pretend it's not there. 
<laughs> he doesn't want to risk his mental health. You can rush from Velikograd to Kamengrad a couple of days on a frisky horse, but a large mare you won't be able to get through in a week. Okay, why are you telling me this? Am I supposed to choose where I'm going? No? Something else is going on. Why am I pressing Alt if Prox is the only guy I can talk to? Few people. Oh, I approve, definitely. No one likes a layabout. Ah, you should be outlawed, stupid redhead. Craftsman, definitely. Oi oi! It's an impressive set of beards you got there, mate. Whoa. Calm down. Jeez, this guy's Larry. I'm not going to demand gold, I'm going to speak conciliatory. Yeah, it never seems to like detract or do a skill check or anything like that. It just keeps going up. Maybe you get a score at the end or something and you have to like pass a certain amount. I don't really understand what, they're, what, the, what this is about. Reason with them. 
Holy shit. Hi, Giant Dad. No worries, mate. Thanks for joining the stream. Have a good day. See you next time. Uh, we're going to go with keep the agreement. promise help. Holy shit, cat's huge now. Who's this creep? Look how shifty his eyes are. He's got a shifty eyed creep over here. Who is it? Hey, we did get something out of it. <laughs> Freeloaders, I love it. Golden amulet, though, not bad, not bad. What is this creep one? get on the good side, we're not going to scare them, what's the point? Another cunning, eh? Alarmed. 
Oh, this fucker's back. He just pops up, makes ridiculously obnoxious jibes, and then leaves. Alright, let's go. Party time! Uh, that's cool. I'm definitely going to get uh, stuck in first. Stoyan. Hello, Veliko Gragman. I am Stoyan. And this is my Lada, my wife. Drink. Sound effects are good. I'm gonna laugh in her face. Yeah, I got in my face, wench. Bring me back that sauce that you had. I want the bacon sauce to go with the bacon. Two other guests. Okay. Let's do Galuba next. Ask about the village. What's going on here? Weird purple cats popping up as well. Should definitely be afraid of that. If any of you see a purple cat popping up around here, it's not real, alright? Just ignore it. Let's go about news. Let's go about the food. Drink again. All right, I'm gonna drink then. All right, she's done. Gornyan, talk to the headman. Talk about business. Where's my money, bitch? Let's drink. Yeah, you hear me? I will rage in the morning. Rage and tear this place apart. So we have to come by to- whoa! Come by tomorrow. Oh, Fitty alert. She just winked as well. I saw that. Winking at me over there, fit bitch. What's this? Golden cup. So they do have gold. They're lying to me! Burn this place to the ground. And defecate on the ashes.
Drink! <sighs> yeah, exactly. We all, knew, we all knew that before. That's why I was role-playing it, definitely. Talk to Veselina first. He's nagging her. He's not nagging her, he's nagging her. That's so horrible when guys do that. I mean, make me feel guilty for not being interested. I'm gonna intervene. Get out of there, fat boy! She's not interested in you. You got rid of a drunk and you expect me to hang on your neck too. Wow, rude. Hold your horses. So Goryana's been lying to us. Ah, oh, here we go. So we can either grab it using 10 of these, we can let him keep it, or we can lure it using 10 of these. I'm going to lure it, because I want that gold. Did I get the cup? I did, yeah. Nice. Maybe I can sell that. Oh, he drugged us. That was such an obvious drug moment. Why would you drink from this cup, you idiot? You plonker. I didn't even get given a choice if I wanted to drink it or not. Okay, so it doesn't take them from you. You just need a minimum of that number in order to achieve it. So it seems like it's worth doing only one or the other, not doing both, investing in both. Radmila, Radha, where are you? Oh, he's seeing his sister again. Oh, 
Oh, they throw me down the mine, the bastards. Wow, the music's really atmospheric. This is cool. The greater good. Oh shit. Shit, he knifed her. He completely shanked her to death. He didn't even slit her throat or do it majestically. He just gouged her repeatedly in the chest. Like a psychopath. Okay, so that's it. That's the demo. Cool. Fourth quarter 2022. That's what's coming out. Seems interesting. I uh, like the style. The music's great. And uh, the atmosphere is really good. I like the artwork. It's really invoking. And uh, yeah, just a really good atmosphere to the game. So cool. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed playing. Uh, probably be back later on this evening with some Godless Grove or the book of the game. I haven't decided yet. I keep meaning to pick those up and carry on with them. But I just keep leaving them behind. So we'll see what happens. But... Yeah, thanks so much for joining, guys. Before I go, just want to give a huge shout-out to all the new viewers and subscribers of the channel. Thank you so much for your support. It really does mean the world to me, seeing it grow uh, and develop as much as it has. So, I mean, you guys are the lifeblood of YouTube, and I just appreciate you coming and giving it to me. So thank you so much for that. Uh, yeah, hopefully, guys, I will see you in the next episode. If not, I will see you in whatever else I produce. I make content almost every single day. So peace out till next time.